The Apple Watch and Android Wear have a new uh, competitor. This is the Chronologix uh, Co watch. Um, and it, it does run a version of Android, but it's uh, sort of platform agnostic. So you'll get much the same functionality you will on iOS devices as you will if it's connected to an Android uh, smartphone. So we're gonna take a quick look at the interface of this watch. Um, well, first, we're going to start with the design itself. It's very, you know, very attractive. It's got a minimalist look, stainless steel uh, case here, and it comes in two colors. You can see uh, silver and black. Um, and there's also a ring here in the middle that's uh, made of ceramic, which helps for, um, you know, the antennas and things like that. On the bottom, uh, there's going to be a little, uh, there's a heart rate monitor as well as the uh, charging ports here. Um, and then built into the watch itself uh, is a is Wi-Fi and Bluetooth, so you'll be able to connect to a network um, whether or not your phone is around. So the key to the uh, the Co Watch is that the uh, little sub dials here are where you get what you know you find apps are basically. So if we can tap through here, you'll see there's ones here for weather. There's the battery life. Um, this one is for changing light switches. Tap it again, you can see things such as. Here's your uh, step count, and you swipe back. There's your heart rate monitor, and I'll swipe back. And so it's fairly easy to get through all the various things. Uh, there's, for example, music controls, and obviously you'll get notifications uh, from your smartphone. Um, but the, probably the most unique thing about uh, the CoWatch is that it has uh, integration with Amazon's Alexa. So tapping here, Alexa, what's the weather in New York? with mostly cloudy skies. Today, you can expect rainy weather with a high of 56 and a low of 41. So that's pretty neat, and that's something that's really gonna differentiate this watch from uh, other smartwatches, um, in that you can, you know, you'll be able to control just about anything that you can control with Alexa, you know, through the watch itself. And as you can hear, there's also uh, a speaker in here as well. Um, also, other things about this watch, there's eight gigs of flash memory, so you'll be able to store a lot of things on it. Um, and it also has uh, sensors, accelerometer, gyroscope, and a compass, so it can track uh, a number of different things. Obviously, it, does, it doesn't have GPS, um, but that n might not be a, a deal breaker. Uh, now, this watch is uh, starting, it's launching on Indiegogo, although they're in production right now. Um, if you back it on Indiegogo now, you can get it for $159. When it goes on sale uh, to the general public, the retail price is going to be $279. So that still keeps it uh, somewhat below or in the same ballpark as uh, most other smartwatches. Um, it's certainly a very attractive design. I'm, I'm more, you know, I can't wait to try it on myself and to put it through its paces. Um, but in the meantime, you know, this is my Prospero and this is the first look at the Co Watch.